Hey everybody. A while back I shot a video about how to keep fish alive if you were cycling a tank. In other words, if you bought fish home and your tank wasn't cycled and you suddenly found yourself in a situation where you needed to cycle the tank and you already had fish in it, how would you keep them alive? And I've gotten a lot of comments on that video over the years. Most of them are appreciative. I've helped a lot of people get uh, their fish through a cycle. But I also get a lot of comments from people who seem to just use fish as disposable sources of ammonia and use them to cycle the tank in. And I just don't see any need to do that. I don't see any point in using fish to cycle a tank in. Um, you know, I do things that might put fish at risk. I've done uh, experimental kind of stuff. I've pushed myself to maybe, uh, you know, expand my skill set a little bit. And so I have done things that have resulted in, in fish losses, but I don't just wantonly waste the fish for no purposes. I'm always attempting to learn something or better myself or do something, you know, and then inadvertently the fish may die as a result. I don't simply sacrifice them for the process of expediency. And even if you were, there's just no point in doing that. I just don't understand this idea that you need to use fish to rapidly cycle a tank in. So the argument basically goes that when you're cycling a tank, if you're not familiar with how to cycle a tank, if you do it the natural way, you get a fish tank, you set it up, you get it running, you set your filter going, and then you introduce a source of ammonia into the tank. And the nitrifying bacteria will just develop over time. It's, it's like algae and yeast. It's just in the air. And eventually, if there's a food source in the tank, ammonia, then this nitrifying bacteria will start to develop. And so what I always do is just the easiest way to do it. It takes a fairly long time to do it this way. But I just throw fish food in the tank. The fish food breaks down. It doesn't have to go through a fish in order to decompose and break down and become ammonia waste. And so just by throwing a few pinches of fish food in the tank every day or every other day or whatever, I just make sure there's plenty of waste in the tank to produce ammonia. And the nitrogen cycle develops. If you do it that way, it takes about six weeks, maybe eight weeks, depending on the temperature of the tank. It's a slow process, but that's the process of cycling a tank. There are ways you can speed that process up. You can artificially increase the ammonia. Um, you can artificially introduce bacteria. Doing both of these things, ideally, can get you having a tank cycled in very rapidly. But they make products for this. That's the argument I get with using the fish, is that the fish will break the food down faster and convert it into ammonia, so you don't have to wait for the food to break down naturally. If you're in that big of a hurry, just add some ammonia. You know, I thought about, well, if you don't want to go out and buy a little bottle of ammonia, but you're, apparently if you're willing to go out and buy fish, why not just go buy some ammonia? And you can just put ammonia directly in the tank. You don't need fish to generate that ammonia. The idea that you can have the fish survive this process is true, but you have to slow that process way down in order to get the fish to survive it. You have to basically prevent the ammonia from building up to dangerous levels, which slows how quickly your bacteria will grow. If you really want that bacteria to grow in quickly, you need lots of ammonia. So keep fish out of the tank, put a lot of ammonia in the tank, and let that bacteria have a party and do its thing, and it will develop a nice, good, healthy nitrogen cycle in no time flat. There's simply no reason to put fish in the tank to generate that ammonia. I've thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and even if you're just lazy, it's still easier. Instead of going out and buying fish, it's easier just to go and buy a little bottle of ammonia. Um, I honestly don't know if household ammonia, like cleaning ammonia, would work. I assume it would, but I would recommend not getting stuff that's like splashless or has suds in it or anything like that. Um, not sure about the spirits of ammonia that you would buy at the grocery store for mixing drinks or adding as a food uh, additive in a recipe, but I've got spirits of ammonia upstairs. I'm assuming there's alcohol in that, but the tiny little bit of it that you'd be introducing into the aquarium I don't think would make any difference. Again, there's just so many sources of ammonia out there that are easier to obtain and less expensive than going to the fish store and buying sacrificial fish. Again, if you're going to try to keep them alive and not sacrifice them, then your argument that I'm trying to hurry this process along doesn't make any sense. By, by putting the fish in there and then trying to keep them alive, you're slowing the process down. 
if you're just going to sacrifice the fish and put them in there and let them live, and, you know, that nitrogen cycle will develop a lot faster, but your fish are going to be subject to ammonia poisoning, and their gills are going to get burned up, and you're going to just go through those fish. And I've talked to a lot of people over the years that they that's just the way they do it. They buy a tank, they get it set up, they throw a few mollies in there, and those are their sacrificial get-the-tank-started fish. you got to throw a few fish in there and kill a few fish, you know, to get the cycle started. And it's just nonsense. You don't have to do that at all. In fact... Again, I just, I really can't see any purpose in doing that, you know, even if there was some like, well, I know you're killing fish, but there's this reason, there, there's no reason that justifies that in any way, and I am keeping things in perspective, I'm actually going to shoot a video here in the near future about keeping things into perspective, you know, some of the comments I get about, you know, some of my aquariums, you'd think I was some kind of monster or, or animal abuser or something, and that, you know, we need to keep things in perspective. So I am keeping things in perspective. I understand that these are just a few little mollies or guppies or whatever we're talking about throwing in uh, a fish tank. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I'm just saying it's not necessary. I, I, none of the arguments that I've ever been given make any sense. You know, if you're going to tell me you're trying to speed it up, you don't, why are you putting fish in there then? If you want to speed it up, just put a bunch of ammonia in the tank. It'll, it'll go a lot faster than putting fish in the tank. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, that's my two cents on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it below, but I just don't see any purpose whatsoever in doing a fish in cycle. If you want to cycle your tank in a hurry, buy some ammonia, buy some quick start, go to your local uh, fish store, ask them to squeeze out a couple of sponges. If you've already got a tank up and running somewhere, just squeeze one of those sponges out into your tank to boost up your nitrogen cycle, speed the whole process up. There's so many ways to do that without ever having to endanger your fish. So, again, that's my two cents. If you are trying to get a tank set up and you are anxious to get fish in there and you want to get fish through your nitrogen cycle uh, with minimal damage, then there are ways to do that, and I will attach a card uh, to, to uh, how to get your fish through a cycle. Uh, if you've bought fish and you have an uncycled tank, you can get fish through it without too much harm. It's a, a very labor-intensive process, and it's a very long process. It really slows down how long it takes the, the tank to cycle in, and it's a lot of water changes and a lot of water testing, and you're going to have to buy a test kit you know, to test your ammonia levels, and you're going to have to test at least once or twice a day. But if you want to do a cycle with fish in it, you can do it. And again, I'll attach that card up there, and uh, you can check that video out. So in the meantime, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that was helpful. Again, I'd like to hear your two cents down below. Don't forget this one here is my... 125 gallon native tank. Thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.